Looking for new brakes for your mountain bike? Our list of the best mountain bike disc brakes has put popular hydraulic disc systems head to head. Having good brakes on your bike makes you go faster. Sound like an oxymoron? Maybe, but it's true. The fact is, if you know you can quickly and efficiently bring your speed under control, you're more likely to let it creep up into the red zone. Consequently, you become a faster and more controlled rider. For more bike control, you want not only power, but also effective modulation of that power where subtle variations in lever force give a much more controllable braking force, rather than an on-slash-off feel. Formula Cure 4 Without much experience of formula brakes in recent years, we tried the Cure 4 with no expectations. Fitting and bleeding were slightly fiddly, with tight pack clearances making a rub-free result hard to achieve. The fixed hose angle at the caliper men hose routing was a bit untidy, but once resolved, or accepted we really like the sleek lever and caliper. The weight is good too. There's power and spades, but the smooth, progressive weight it's applied is even more impressive, making it easy to achieve that magical just below pressure before breaking traction. Shimano BL MT501 slash MT502. The Shimano BL MT501 slash MT502 brakes may cost half the price of some more premium hydraulic mountain bike brakes but this doesn't stop them from performing remarkably well. A hinge clamp makes attaching the brakes to your handlebars easy and that's a great feature at this price point. The left slash right specific levers also get Shimano servo wave linkage, which means the early part of the lever stroke pushes the pads in further than the later stroke. This helps get plenty of control and also enables Shimano to create more space between the pads and rotors, ideal for mucky conditions. Shimano Dior M6000 Shimano's Dior brakes have long been our go-to budget discs. They just work well at a fraction of the cost of others. So why look elsewhere? This latest version, the M6000, benefits from features trickled down from higher up the Shimano ladder, such as hinge bar clamps and reach adjustment via Allen key bolts behind the lever. So it's far from the basic setup you might expect. SRAM Code RSC The SRAM Code is one of the most popular brakes for downhill and enduro racing as well as for electric bikes, thanks to its big stopping power. This RSC version is the same as the Code R but provides extra adjustment. The lever is highly versatile. It can be used on either side of your handlebar and comes with a detachable hinge bar clamp. It also has tool-free adjustment for the lever position and bike point. Inside, a large reservoir helps increase heat resistance. Clark's Cloud 1 Hats off to Clark's for producing an effective hydraulic disc brake for PS24.99, or even less if you buy two. PS44.99. That price includes a 106 m or 108 m rotor. It even comes with an olive and barb for trimming the hose. The front hose was already too short for our longer travel trail bikes. But that's not the sort of use this is really designed for. Because the bar clamp isn't hinged, you need to slide the grip off, but the lever fits easily and has a solid feel for the price. Formula Cure. The Formula Cure is a classy looking two piston brake that's well suited to light and fast trail mountain bikes and downcountry bikes. The lever has a flip flop design, so it can be used as a lever for either front or rear brake. It has a split clamp to attach it to the bar with a nice finish, like the whole of the brake. Hayes Dominion T4. The Dominion T4 sheds vertigo weight compared to the Dominion A4 and features a flip flop design so it works on either side of the bar. It's easy to mount, with options for SRAM's matchmaker and iSpec clamps. The T4's lever is made from carbon fiber and its smooth finish can be a tad slippery. Reach adjustment is generous, and we measured one can range of bike point adjustment with the factory bleed. Hayes Dominion A4 Hayes dominated the brake scene in the early 2000s before dropping off the radar for a while. It came back with the Hayes Dominion A4, a brake that offers easy bleeding full adjustability and a consistent lever feel. Each brake is tuned for prompt and consistent pad engagement. The combination of four large 17 pistons with semi-metallic pads means braking is progressive rather than sudden. Hope Tech 4 V4 The Tech 4 is a marked improvement over the previous generation Tech 3, continuing to deliver Hope's customary feel with noticeably more power. We found it necessary to bleed the brakes upon fitting because the two brakes had a different feel. Bleeding is a simple process with a dedicated reservoir top cap. However, there was difficulty setting similar bike points for both levers. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.